What's up guys, Nax Tech here and this is my iPod Touch 5G. Just gonna do an initial quick hardware review and check it out. So we've got a five megapixel camera at the back with a LED flash, blue background here. This little kind of holder, which if you push in, comes out a little bit, you can see that. And you can connect your little tab that comes with it as a holder. And there you go. 4 inch screen we know, retina display, same screen that's on the iPhone 5, front facing camera for FaceTime, on off switch up here, um, volume rockers are two separate buttons up and down, nice feel to them both, very nice feel, home button, same standard home button from Apple, you can see yeah, it works all the same. Home button feels nice and sturdy, nice and strong. Now, if you just look, I don't, this doesn't really do it justice, but this thing is very, very thin. Um, and it's really, really light. Uh, like Apple, most people that like Apple seem to like the fact that it's got a premium feel. Now this feels well built, but it feels very light, which also makes it feel pretty much a toy. Um, so, be aware, if it drops out of your pocket, you probably won't notice because it is very, very light. Now, I've got a comparison with the four inch screen here with my Nexus S, which is here, which is also a four inch screen, but you can see, well, firstly, let's just check this out. Let's just look at the thickness. I mean, this is a two year old device, but let's look at that thickness difference there. The iPod Touch and the Nexus S, that is a monster thickness compared to this iPod Touch. And when this phone came out, it was very thin. So that's how much we've come a long way. You can see it's just got a massive ass as well. But there you go. Um, you can actually see how they do the, the screen differently. Both of these are four inch displays. And you can see that the Nexus S is wider, whereas this one is taller. So that's how Apple's done it. So they said you could reach from thumb to thumb or whatever on that advert. Not really a difference. I can do that here as well. So, yeah, that's how they do their screen differently. Um, I mean, these these are just completely different devices, but that thickness is ridiculous. Let's get rid of that for now. This thing is very thin and very light. This, whoops, this is what the a lot of people wanted the iPhone 5 to be like. It's, it's thinner than the iPhone and lighter. Um, the screen is very, very crisp. Hardware is really, really nice. On this iPod, everything feels really well built, well made. This is quite a nice little thing here. It comes in, I think, five different colours. I really like the blue one, so I went for that. One thing to note about the hardware is it actually doesn't sit flat on the table, and I think that's because if you can see here, that speaker, the speaker, the camera is actually off the uh, the back, so it doesn't sit flat on a table. It kind of, you can see makes a little bit of a noise there, it doesn't sit flat, so if you use it, be aware. Now the camera lens is kind of sunken in a bit, so if it's on the table, the glass isn't actually touching the table, so it should protect it from scratches and stuff, but let's see if that's the case. We will see. So yeah, really nice hardware on this iPod Touch, really like it so far. I've only just got it, so I've only just had a play. We've got the lightning port down here, speaker vent, and the microphone jack at the bottom. Some people like it at the top, but I don't really care. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you want to know about this hardware? Let me know. As always, if you like my videos, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos showing off the software and stuff like that. So, see you guys later. Peace out!